Right, here at the post office. Alright, have a good day. Hi, you too. Also, I was just curious because you got this one sign over here. It says mascara uh, recommended, but over here it says like required. We go with the, uh, whatever the city is saying. I know it's, it's like technically not law. But I'm just curious, like, how is it okay to put, like, require? Because this could, like, incite violence one day towards, like... I don't know who would get violent about it, but... Like, so, you see, I don't know if you looked on the internet, you see a lot of people... Yeah. Like, a lot of it's staged, a lot of it's fake videos. But some of it, you know, is for real. Yeah. Um, but eventually, I think this is going to get worse. I don't know if you've seen it. You, you, I guess not, if you're saying that. You haven't yeah, seen any violence here. It doesn't matter either way. Um... Yeah, but the signs come from Anchorage. I don't know why one says one's probably older than the other one because it used to say re, uh, recommended, mm -hmm. and then when Anchorage went to lockdown, they sent us the ones that said required. So probably just an older sign on the. Recommended. But don't you think it would be appropriate, based on like the laws in this country, how there's religious and medical exemptions, that there should be like a something there just in case someone wants to get oh, you yeah, know, violent? Oh yeah, we can't refuse service to anybody. I understand that, but someone else might come in here and someone else might wind up working here that doesn't know one day and then it could cause like a problem, you know, that's all. I'm just looking out for like the future. I know things are pretty chill right now, but. I understand. All right. So, all right. But could you run that like maybe by your, maybe you guys could like put up, put up a sign out there like, or I, I could help like. Let me, let me get a, let me get the postmaster real quick. All right. Hi. Yes, sir. Hi. Uh, I sorry to bother you. It's just I'm just kind of curious how you have one sign on the door says master recommended, but the other sign says it's required. And I know it's tech, there's religious and medical exemptions. I know the law and all that. I'm just worried about the future. If someone might be a crowd of people that gang up on someone that has a medical and or religious exemption, and I'm just curious, like, would it be possible to like put up a some kind of Small note. This is like an asterisk that says there if are. I put up what the post office issues me. Mm -hmm. I don't get to make a choice about what signage whatsoever is put up. Okay. So my suggestion to you is to go to usps.com. Okay. And file that. That's where you think needs you... to be done because I have no say in what signage okay. is put up. I understand. Whatsoever. Do you have a a number I can call? One eight hundred ask usps. Ask P ups. Okay. Yep. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, Killer. Hey, how are you? Hey, you don't need to. You know you don't do. You, you don't need to do that. What's that? According oh. to the law, you know. Well, I know, but I do. I just uh, I've traveled all over the United States, man. Mm -hmm. Recently, in the last, uh, I just got stuck out in Wisconsin for the pandemic for three months, trying to get across the border. Couldn't do it. Okay. I give up. Trying to drive my truck and trailer home. I'm too old. That's I, my issue. I call it a pre pretendemic. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Whatever you feel like. All right, see you later. You too. Yeah, I'm about to call 1-800-ASK-USPS and see what we can do, possibly. Hey, buddy. He's my friend, right? Hey. No. My mistake. For passports, see passport. Thank you for calling. My name is Mahogany. Can I have your name, please? Yeah, my name. How can I assist you today? Yeah, I'm just calling about how you guys have the the signs outside of 
on your doors in the post office. Um, I noticed on one door you had a sign that said mask or recommended and on the other door in the town I'm in, it says required. And I asked about it and the guy said like one of the signs must be old. But I, I'm just curious, like, because I know the law in how there's religious and medical exemptions in the United States. And I'm just, I'm just wondering if you guys could possibly like update the signs to have like a small notice, like on the bottom, at least to where it, it says like there are laws in the United States of America that, that allow religious and or medical exemptions. So just to avoid any p potential, you know, I know pe people are fighting about this here and there, and I'm just trying to avoid any potential future altercations, you know? Okay, no problem. I can report the issue for you, so I just need some information from you to report it. Uh, what is your last name? So y'all, this is for real. Telephone number? Family, y'all take it serious. Y'all take this thing real serious, y'all. This is for real. This is for real, y'all. Okay. All right, I'm going to place you on a, a one to two minute hold. All right, thank you for all this. I have reported the request as far as updating the signs for the COVID mask on, on local post offices' doors. Supervisor, postmaster in your area will contact you regarding the case. I have a Case number for you. Would you like to take your case number down? Uh, yeah, I'll take it. Case number two eight. Okay. Your case number is two. Okay. Got it. All right. All right. If you need to contact us, like you would reference to that number. Is there anything else I can assist you with today? So they will be contacting me in the future? That's correct. All right. Thank you. No problem. Thank you for calling. Have a great day. You too. Bye.